welcome to the Untrapped Podcast, where we give motivational and inspirational tips about life, small business, wisdom, health, wealth, finance, relationships. It's about being the best you that you can possibly be. Possibly be, 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 be. Hashtag Untrapped. Welcome, well, welcome to the Untrapped Podcast. 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 I am your host, Keith Kelfus. In this video, I want to talk about running away from your problems. Because if, you, if you're the type of person who sticks your head in the sand when something comes up and you need to handle it, and you know you got to handle this thing, from the 40,000 foot view, it's actually just a little problem. Because if you don't handle it now, then what's going to happen, it's going to turn into a big problem and you're going to wish you would have taken care of it when it was small. What's up? This is Keith Kelfis and thanks for tuning in. Thanks for 78,000 subscribers to this channel. I really, really appreciate it. I started this YouTube channel like six and a half years ago with nothing more than just uploading a video and telling my story. And it's been a long journey and I feel very uh, humbled. So back to sticking your head in the sand. When I was in my 20s and even all the way back to my teens, whenever a problem came up that overwhelmed me, that was too much to overcome, such as even getting a speeding ticket or something, right? I would stick my head in the sand. I wouldn't handle it. I would complain how it wasn't fair and I wouldn't jump on the problem and fix it. I always thought that by maybe running away that it would go away. And little tiny things like that had added up to delinquencies and unpaid bills and debt and debt collectors all the way to where I woke up. Um, a 27 year old grown man just completely buried in debt and buried in my own problems to one day just like Niagara Falls, like the thing just broke and it all fell apart at once. And I found myself with no driver's license, no job, no money, no place to live, in debt, getting sued. <laughs> I, I didn't have any money for car insurance when I was way, way, way back then, a long time ago. I got a car accident when I when like way back in 2007 and I got sued for damages because I didn't have car insurance because I couldn't afford it. I was broke. Hey, give me a break, world. And this rude awakening happens is when you do, you wake up five years from now with even more problems than you have today. You're the same person. Now you're five years older and you're still in this hole. You wish that you would have solved the problems then, that you would have faced those fires and those challenges. You would have made those difficult, difficult phone calls or you would have worked a couple hours more or not spent money on something stupid or stayed in that stupid relationship. <laughs> and when you finally wake up and you realize that nobody cares that you're struggling or suffering. Nobody cares that maybe you're broke. Nobody, nobody cares about your problems because they have problems of their own. Nobody's coming to save you except for yourself, right? I remember it very clearly. I looked out at my life at 27 and I said, oh my God, it's when I started this landscaping business. I, I did all the math, I sat down, I said, and I cried, I started crying. I said, it's, go it's gonna take me just over five years. If I work day in, day out, it's gonna take over five years to pay off this debt, to get out of the hole, and to get to a place of just a, a steady life again. Five long years. I said, 20, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, until I'm a 32-year-old man, and I cried. Because when you're in your 20s, your 30s seem so far away, right? And I knew, and I, and I knew that there was no miracle. There was no winning the lottery. There's no nothing. And in that place of, it's like this dark night of the soul. There's this awakening that you have where you're standing at the crossroads and you just have to surrender to it and realize that now this is the path you have to walk because you made those mistakes back there. I talk about this in my video called Walk the Line. I'll put a link in the description below, possibly a link to the video up here. 
that now you have to walk a pirate's plank for the next two, three, four, five years to fix your mistakes. And there's no other way out. It can feel like you're dying. And really it's the ego dying because you realize that all of the, the bull crap stories that you told yourself, they were nothing more than stories that limited you. And you can't go back, right? But that's the beautiful thing that we have is time. We do have time. Hopefully you have time on your side. And more than likely you do. Now this is where we get into the next stage of enlightenment. I'll put another uh, video in the link below about the three stages of enlightenment. First stage is where you fall into a hole. And you see the hole, you fall into it anyways. The second stage of enlightenment is where when you fall into a hole, you understand why you're going through this hard time in your life and you reap lots of benefit from it because you understand why you're learning. It's, you're learning a lesson, right? You see it that way. That's your new paradigm. The third stage of enlightenment is where you can reap benefit just by looking at a problem. You don't even have to exacerbate, exacerbate it. Did I say that right? Let me know in the comments below. You literally can just learn from other people's problems and just walk around it and literally like quantum leap past it and the sun will shine and you can literally just go right around storms in your life. And that's how you can move a lot faster, right? It's a higher vibration. But sometimes you have to go through hell to get to heaven. Because, so so imagine like, when does, this, when, when does the day begin? When the sun comes up. It's not true, because in, in the Jewish law, the day begins at night after the sun has gone down. So the beginning of the day is dark. It's cold and it's dark. But when you work that thing out, eventually the sun comes up. The beginning of anything is really hard. There's, there could be a lot of turmoil, it could be treacherous. But there's always a hidden gem. There's a silver lining, and that starts with you. So, with all that being said, look at your life and look at the problems, problems, opportunities that you have. So with all that being said, look at your life and say, oh my God, the problems that I have right now, there's people that would wish to have my little teeny tiny problems. These aren't even problems. These are opportunities in disguise, right? But I don't have the time to do that. If you don't have the time to do it. Listen, there's people who have figured out and there's people that have done it. And I realize you get the most certain and you get the most focused and you make the most amount of progress when life gets the hardest and you face those challenges. A whole new you comes out. Like an onion, the layers peel off and this soldier, this warrior comes out. This person who's more intelligent more cunning, more smart, more honest, caring, more of a contributor, more of a person who pays attention to details. Like you didn't know how to read blueprints before, you're now you're reading blueprints because you gotta read those blueprints. You don't have a choice. You will figure it out quick when you don't have a choice and your back is against the wall. So maybe that's what you need, is to put your back up against the wall. Don't be afraid. <sighs> don't be afraid. If you're going through a dark time right now, my friend, and I'll end the video with this. If you fight the good fight, you stay on the right path, and you keep making the best decisions that you can. Legal, moral, moral ethical, honest, like th there's a compass inside you that points to true north, right? You just keep doing the right thing. You keep fighting the good fight. You keep, even if you're taking care of somebody that's sick, you keep taking care of that person. You keep doing the right thing. You keep respecting people, whatever it is. There will be a day, and it's true, I've seen it happen in my life many times, where the clouds will part and a beautiful sense of peace will come into your life. And it's a reward that no money can buy. It's peace. That's what the higher self wants is peace. And you will get that peace, right? And there's one more thing. <laughs> Just because there's a storm in your life doesn't mean that you're a bad person or you did something wrong. You know, it might not be your fault. You don't have to feel guilty. It's just storming right now. Storms come and storms go. Don't let it sway you from your mission, from your purpose. And just because it's a beautiful, sunshiny day, like right now, this is a beautiful day outside. We just got through like several days of freezing rain. 
and it sucked, man. But today is a beautiful day. I'm enjoying it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that your life is grand and that you're doing everything right and making all the right decisions, right? Sometimes it can be the eye before the storm. But there's a part of you that cannot be affected and it can't be hurt because it's the part of you that's never, it can't die because it's the part of you that's never been born. It isn't in, no, it's not in the physical, it's the spiritual side of you that goes on and on for eternity. So from that place, you can say, oh, there goes Joe again for me. There goes Keith again. You know, it's funny. I used to try to make these videos many years ago, back in like 2008 when I was in my 20s. And I couldn't even get the words out. And it feels so good to be able to just speak freely and share my message. All right. That's all for this video, my friend. Peace.